God, your job is so weird. <laughs> Says the drug dealer. Well, at least my clients don't hit on me. I am sure that they do. That's true, they do actually. Did you talk to mom and dad? Yeah, we're meeting them at the restaurant at seven. Okay. Do you want a glass of wine? Yeah. You look pretty kind of tired, Grace. <laughs> Thanks. God, I just spent like an hour trying to do my hair, but. Yeah. Your hair looks good, but Thank you, you. you look like I'm you're. Exhausted. I, don't know. I think you work too hard. Well, you know, I gotta pay the rent, so. How many classes a week do you teach? Like 22. 22 24. a week? Well, yoga teachers don't get paid. It's hard to make a living. You know, you gotta teach like a bunch for it to rack up. Cheers. Wait, uh, how much, how much you make a class? Depends. On average? Like 50, 60 a class. $50. That's insane. Shut up. You've gotta value your time more than that. Maybe I should just steal drugs. Yeah. Do you think that I would have time to write if I if I had to go to some office job? Have you been writing? I'm writing my novel. Sorry. How's that? No, I'm curious. No, that's what in is the title it? of my novel. Okay. Well, good for you. Thanks. That's great. <clears throat> oh, hello. Is this restaurant downtown? Yeah, why? Um, I just have to make a quick delivery on the way. What are you talking about? How did you do that before, Alex? Because I just got the message now. It's all right, you can come with me. No! I mean, yeah, Alex, a little I can't brother, come sister with you adventure. on a drug deal. It's pot, okay? I'm not bringing a condom full of heroin up my ass to some drug lord. Sure you don't need anything. <clears throat> no, no, we're, we're fine. Thank, Thank you so much, right though. there in a minute. Oh, what are we here? Oh, I love finding money in pants. Isn't that the best? <laughs> it is. Um, that, that, that is good stuff, Alex. Is yeah. this uh, different from usual? No, this is the blue steel. That's, that's mm. what you usually mm. get. Please, come Are you too? Yeah. Here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> you sure you're not a cop? No, I'm a, a yoga teacher, so. She's my sister, she's not a cop. <coughs> <laughs> my lower back has been killing me lately. You think yoga could help? Yeah, I mean, definitely. Where on your lower back is it hurting? Oh, right, right. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Where? Yeah, yeah. No, right or left side? Uh, uh, both. Both sides. Okay, like uh, here? Uh-huh. All right, so just bring your feet hips width. So that's a little too wide. Uh-huh. Okay, good. Wide in your heels. Right. So just bend your knees a little bit. Right. Now think of lifting. Yeah, no, it's a little less. Great. And now just bend your knees a little more. Uh-huh. And start to roll from the top of your head all the way down, right? Uh -huh. So I see you're a little compressed on your uh -huh. right side. Uh -huh. So try to breathe into your right lung a little more. Uh -huh. yeah. Great. Yeah. We, we and then just bend well. your knees even more. One second. Uh -huh. Just bend your knees. Okay, a little slower, a little slower. Yeah, oh. okay, so try to release right there. Oh, so that's okay. your sacral plate, okay? Oh. So when you have your heels narrowing, that narrows that low back. Oh. Okay. As you inhale, you can slowly come all the way up, but from your hips, reach out through the front of your heart. So inhale all the way up, oh. all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Oh, yeah? that's amazing. That's amazing. I I love you, I love you, I love oh, you, I love you. Oh, thank you so nice of you. You have a card or something? Yeah, yeah. Oh, great. I will be calling you. Okay. I'll be okay. calling you. So you need to shoot me an email? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And I'm we sorry. can do, no, I can bring guys, a mat, I can bring okay. my blocks. I, I we should like really get going. Uh, what's so soon? Yeah, we gotta go we'll meet our parents uh, for dinner. Nah, well, okay, listen. Uh, so here. Um, no, 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 no charge, that was amazing. What do you mean? Well, I mean, you should take her everywhere. You won't get charged for anything. <laughs> That's so nice. No, you, you pay me. Huh? Oh. Uh. For the week. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> silly me. <laughs> yes. He's like, so we all get out. <laughs> that guy is like a, a true freak. No. Like a real freak. No, he's a fascinating he's, man. He's a, he's a good guy, but he's like. I really think it could be something, you know, if we like joined forces. What? Like yoga and weed. I don't know. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, okay. I don't know. Or yeed. I'm not sure I'd feel comfortable with. Why? Sharing clients. I don't know. Is that a good idea? I don't know. All right. I'll have your people call my people. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, 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 no, because your father yeah. starts telling the guy that we are experienced 
boaters. <laughs> what? I had to. They were only taking experienced boaters on this trip. That is so dangerous. I know. So uh, the guy uh, gives your dad a rope and he asks him to tie a, um, a thing, a, sli a slip, slip, slip knot, knot slip and knot. your dad refuses. Why? Because that's insulting to an experienced sailor. Zach, you are like the furthest thing from an experienced sailor. But he so. didn't know that. <laughs> so wait, do you know what a slip knot is? Of course he does. Well, I have an idea. What? <laughs> so why, why are you so adventurous? Why can't you just go on a regular cruise? Yeah, why oh. do you guys have to join Greenpeace? We don't. Oh, are you kidding me? What, take a cruise with a bunch of old bogeys? <laughs> stopping every little touristy island along the way, please. Well, Kill me now. I, well, you're an old bogey. Well, I mean, I'm so saying, aren't, aren't all the guys on that boat like 25 years old? No, no, this particular crew has like old 60s radicals. It's the old boat. <laughs> I'm a young folk. Uh, <laughs> but you guys just got back from Spain, so what's with all the traveling and... Why not? Oh, you guys should do it too. Do it while you can. You can enjoy yourself. I think we've got plenty of time, so... Well, you never know. What? You know, she just means, you know, when it's your time, it's your time. Yeah. Okay, you guys are scaring me. Is something wrong, or...? Yeah, I was a little suspicious, actually, because you never come into the city. You hate this place. That's not true. Oh. Okay. Mom, what's going on? Did you all decide on a wine? Ah, uh, yes. We'd like a uh, bottle of the Sauvignon Blanc, please. Great. Thanks. So, what's up? Nothing. You know, my eye. It's just not responding to the new drug. And there's a development in the other eye. What? No, it's gonna be fine. It's, you know, we just wanna see some things. <laughs> I mean, stop it. Well, we can. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, it's, it's, it's really, it's okay. Uh, we'll see. Or, well, maybe. <laughs> stop it. It's just. Mom, what are the doctors? <laughs> I, you know, we don't want to worry you kids. You you, ha you need to worry about your own lives. Okay, so you have macular degeneration in both of your eyes now. Yes, but there's a 50-50 chance. 50-50? So are you even going to be able to, like, read or...? Well, it's a, a possibly not, but it's okay. No, it's not okay. Oh. I mean, I don't understand how you can, please, can be, please, like, so please, casual please, about please, this. please, please, don't worry, Gracie. So, how's the great American novel doing? It's great. It's great. It's uh, slow, but you know, um, at least I haven't scrapped the whole idea. We start as teachers thinking that we should have an agenda and a plan, and then we get into the classroom and our only mission is to listen so that we know how to speak to our students. What I'd like for you guys to remember along this path is that your weaknesses are your places of real power so that we can start to welcome them in as friends rather than problems. Bring your hands to prayer and just place your thumbs on your third eye. Bring your hands to your heart. And so I'd like to just hold the space for a little while and turn to Grace. So Grace, what have you got for us today? Um, so this is a purge. So a purge is where you get a chance to write down everything that you're thinking on a particular subject. It doesn't matter if it's true. It's just a feeling that's passing by you right now. But it is a loop that goes through your mind. So to write it down, to air it out, to articulate it actually not only moves it a little farther away from you, but it also gives you a chance to see the loop that runs through your brain so you're not so enslaved by it the next time it comes through. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so a purge. These are usually pretty hard. <laughs> I feel fake. How can I say I'm a teacher and a leader in my life when I have so much fear and doubt in my heart. How can I teach people to love themselves when I don't know how to love myself? I'm scared I won't ever be able to stop feeling like I'm falling behind. 
and I hate that I doubt myself and my abilities all the time. And I act like I have no ugliness and no anger, and I do. And I feel guilty that I'm so selfish. Oh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid for her. Her favorite thing in the world is reading. And what if she can't do that? She read to us every night when we were little. And what if she goes blind? What, what if she can't see? What if she can't see how my dad looks at her? And how I look at her? And I hate that I can't help that it makes me feel so fucking useless. And I feel useless. No, no, well done. So you get that that's your mind talking. We're gonna figure out how you can start to listen to the voice of your heart a little more. Okay. Yeah. There are gonna be so many beautiful things that happen as a result of this. It's just, it's that quote. Remember that quote that you love that when you're afraid, it's because something great is about to happen.